Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to try to rescue, well not just today, uh, we're going to start the process of trying to rescue this Sideria japonica. This uh, Sideria japonica uh, belongs to a friend of mine who uh, didn't have much success. She bought this orchid at uh, one of the orchid shows recently and when she got it home she realized that there was a little bit of rot happening and uh, she was trying to bring it back she was about to throw it out and I'm like you know what I'm gonna give it a try the leaves are still green they're still kinda firm they don't look terribly happy but let's try to try to resolve this situation I'll let you know if it dies but I have uh, all the hope in the world that it will produce uh, some roots they're very much like Phalaenopsis where they're tough little devils so this is what a Sideria japonica should kind of look like. Uh, this isn't necessarily the model of, of the perfect Sideria japonica, because I believe at this point it should be flowering, but mine is not. Um, but uh, it, it requires similar care to Phalaenopsis. Uh, it doesn't like to uh, sit in water for long periods of time, and uh, it does require like a dry down period, and it likes uh, medium to low light. So very similar to a Phalaenopsis, um, the thing with these guys is they, they get crown rot really easily. So that's why you can see that this one is kind of propped up above the, uh, the pot line. This allows it to not have any water sit in the crown. And I believe that this is how this one actually started to get a little bit of rot. So uh, I'm going to pot it similarly to this one and uh, see how it goes. So I'm going to bring you down. we got a bowl of sphagnum moss and I have a net pot here. We're just going to play around, see if we can't get this thing to, uh, to start growing. You won't see any updates with this unless, of course, it, uh, it just goes and dies. But uh, you won't see any updates until we start seeing uh, root nubbins or something like that. So it could take a few months. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I know that you guys sometimes ask for updates after a week. If there's nothing to show, I'm not going to show it to you. So anyway, uh, let's come on down and uh, get this underway. Okay, so I've got the pre-moistened sphagnum moss. I'm just going to pile it up in here. Uh, I don't have anything to... No, I don't have anything. I was going to use some packing peanuts or something underneath. Actually, I do some packing peanuts. Hold on just a sec. Okay, so I found some packing peanuts. I'm going to put a few packing peanuts in the bottom of this pot. What this does is it uh, it will allow the moss to drain away uh, a lot faster, so it doesn't stay as moist as long. So another one of my uh, my plants grown in a uh, basket uh, really really dries out quickly with with uh, with these on the bottom. And since I don't want this one to get root rot, I want to maybe do the same thing. So we're going to take the, the moss now, and we're going to just place it on top of the packing peanuts. We're going to build it up, wring it out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Wring it out a little bit and just build it up here. There we go. Doesn't have to be terribly high above the above the pot. It would be nice if I had a nice long fiber moss. That would be really nice, but uh, that's all right. We'll do with what we what we will make do with what we have. If I had the long fiber, I'd be able to spin it, and it would uh, would hold its shape a lot better. And now what we're gonna do is I'm going to make a hole in the center here, so I can poke this in here. And we're just gonna clump it right up to the the plant. So what we're gonna do is we're going to keep this damp. I don't want it to dry out completely because we're trying to get some root development, but I want it to dry down slightly between waterings. So I'm going to be watering this probably every three days and uh, and just just enough to moisten it. I don't want to uh, wet it through and through. And uh, we'll, excuse me, we'll check back on it uh, in a few months time and hopefully it's still alive and hopefully it's developing some roots. But I will keep you updated on this one. Again, if it dies, I will let you know. If it doesn't die and you don't see any updates for a few months, that's uh, that's okay. It means it's still doing okay. So anyway, uh, uh, stay tuned for more updates like this. Or not like this, but more updates on plants. 
and uh, show me what you're growing. Maybe you have some rescue orchids that are, uh, or rescue plants, it doesn't have to be orchids, that you want to show me how they're doing, how you're uh, going about it. Uh, everything, everybody has their own way of fixing things. So um, post them to the Plants and Things What's Growing page or my Plants and Things regular page. Also Instagram, uh, tag me, Plants and Things, and uh, I'll be able to see your posts at that point. And I can respond back and like. So anyway, until next time, happy growing everyone. What this will do is allow moisture in and uh, hopefully allow the seed to hydrate and grow. You don't need